Pulling up to Canada. It's Rue's first time in Canada. <laughs> Hi. I'm just visiting for vacation. Where are you gonna go? I'm going to Squamish. What do you do for work? I'm a travel CT technologist. Thank you. Have a good one. He wasn't that nice. <sighs> Lots of speed bumps, eh? So, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't prepare for this trip at all. I booked this Airbnb like two days ago and we're just winging it right now. I can't believe I'm just like driving in a different country right now. It is insanely gorgeous here. The last time I came to Canada, I went to Victoria with a friend, we took the Clipper Ferry, and here's what we did. I picked up Rue and we went on a car camping adventure on the San Juan Islands. These islands are in Washington state, but they're extremely close to BC. You can actually take a ferry straight from Sydney to Friday Harbor. We went to Lopez and Orcas Islands in late August and the weather was perfect. It was pretty expensive and too much of a hassle to bring the Airstream on the ferry, so I booked a couple campsites and decided to just camp in my car. I got a pretty awesome mattress by Airlax that made my car camping experience super cozy and luxurious. It fits perfectly in the back of my Jeep and is super comfortable. So now I just roll it up and keep it in my trunk for whenever I need to crash in my car or just wanna go on a quick car camping trip. I'm super stoked that I'm back in Canada. Everybody's so friendly here. It's amazingly beautiful. And I have Rue with me now. So little backstory, I am a travel CT technologist, in case you didn't catch that. <laughs> I've been working in Washington state for the last three months. I told you guys that I wasn't going to extend my contract because of the crazy variable shift, but they offered me a pretty bomb schedule last minute. It's seven days on, seven days off. And now here I am driving up to Canada because I feel like it and I have seven days off, so why not? It's a pretty amazing opportunity because now I can still continue to work and get paid and still travel and do all of the things that I wanted to do when I originally planned to take a couple months off. So I'm super stoked that we are heading up to Squamish. No, I am not bringing the Airstream. I thought it would be a little too much to bring it up here just for a few days. I am 12 minutes away and I will see you guys when I get there. I'm in Squamish. Check out this view from the neighborhood. 
from my Airbnb. Oh my goodness. So I've been here for about 10 minutes and I already want to move here. So today is our second day in Squamish. I was supposed to climb with a guide today, but unfortunately they canceled on me last minute, but I was able to find a different company that has availability the morning of the day that I'm leaving. So kind of cutting it close, but I have to climb while I'm in Squamish, like, come on. So Rue and I are rolling with the punches. We are at the base of Stuwamish Chief right now. We're about to do a hike. I was actually about to give up because there is zero parking here. And then the people right next to me are like, oh, hey, we're leaving. So it, it worked out perfectly and they're leaving now and I'm going to pull in their spot and we're going to do this hike. <laughs> This really is like straight up. I am so winded. I made it to the first peak. Rue did not. She is down there. It's not super dog friendly. I'm so sorry, Rufus. <laughs> so the hike to the first peak is not very dog friendly. That is my conclusion, even though multiple people told me it is. But a team of rock climbers helped me carry this little girl <laughs> up around the first ladder, but apparently there's a second ladder, so I'm not even gonna risk that. I got a beautiful view, and Rue had a great time regardless, because she's a dog, she doesn't care. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we found this little side trail, completely private, and little Miss Rue got to make it. For my third day in the Squamish area, I spent the day up in Whistler. It was recommended by a ton of different people and I must say it is gorgeous up here. The drive was great, although it was very smoky which is why I decided not to do the Panorama Ridge Trail. It's a pretty famous hike in this area and I would absolutely love to do it, but I don't think it would be worth it with how smoky it is. I couldn't even see the chief as I was driving out of Squamish this morning. It was basically a silhouette from all of the smoke. So hopefully I can make it back up here and do it next time. Rue has just been chilling in the Airbnb. She has been amazing. I've been watching her on my little camera that I brought with me. Tomorrow is my last day here. I wish I could have stayed longer, 
Um, if anyone knows how I can take a contract in Canada, let me know. I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. So for my first time ever lead climbing, I am doing a multi-pitch up Stuamish Chief. This is hands down, probably the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> For my first time ever lead climbing, I just did eight pitches up Stuamish Chief in Squamish, Canada. Like, what? <laughs> that is unreal. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so full of adrenaline right now. I'm absolutely spent, <laughs> but like, so thrilled. Look at this thing. I just climbed that. I was gonna try to do the sea to sky gondola today before I leave, but it's so smoky out. Like you can't, I wouldn't be able to see anything and it wouldn't be worth it. So I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb, take a long hot shower <laughs> and then head back to Washington. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.